campers to the unicorn pasture. We're all here at the barn. And I'm so glad you're here, Carol. This is going to be so amazing. So Carol is a real live unicorn wrangler. And we're here um, on this land and ready to go. So um, thank you for taking us on this trail ride. I'm so excited because there's so much of this that is a metaphor for relationship and love. And, um, and I know you've taken groups on trips all over the country and, and led in probably every kind of terrain. So I can't wait to see what we encounter on our trail ride. Okay, take it away. All right. Okay. So first of all, um, just want to safety check, make sure everybody is dressed appropriately with your jeans, long pants, boots, closed toed shoes. You know, we don't want anybody getting stomped or getting hurt. So just make sure everybody's um, all set with that and that you have picked out your unicorn and you have met them. So the first thing we want to do is you don't just want to go jump on your unicorn and ride. We're going to introduce ourselves. So walk up to your unicorn, offer them the back of your hand, let them sniff your hand, get to know you a little bit, and they'll let you know, okay, yeah, I like you. It's okay. You can come on in. And when they acknowledge that, just kind of give them a little scratch on the neck, a little rub, get to know them a little bit. That way you can kind of form a little bond before you just hop on and take off riding. Mm -hmm. What happens if... Um we're not, how do you know that it's a bond? You'll feel it. It's just you'll, nice. Yeah. yeah. You'll know, you know. This and, seems like it likes this. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So once you've done that, then, then, you know, it, it's okay to go ahead and get on. Okay. And if you're a little nervous, um, these are big creatures. They can be a little scary, especially if you've never done this before. So just kind of, you know, get yourself together, center and ground, whatever it is you do to do that, take some deep breaths. And the biggest thing is just relax because they're going to know if you're nervous and they're going to be nervous. They're going to pick up on what you're doing. So just relax mm -hmm. and go with the flow mm -hmm. and enjoy and we're going to have a great time. I love that, Carol, because it's really kind of like dating, like being able to give it a space to really get to know another person and in the awareness that the other person may be nervous and that you know they're sensing you you're sensing them and so if you're nervous likely they're nervous too so you got to give that space to be gentle and let it have its own pace it sounds like is that right yeah exactly very much this very similar yep that's okay exactly. cool so i'm on all right, is everybody, everybody on? Take a look around, make sure everybody's behind us. And uh, first thing we're gonna, we're just gonna take off walking. We're gonna leave the barn area and we'll be walking down a little driveway, just on a little gravel driveway for just a little bit. And that'll give you a chance just to kind of, you know, get, get, get your seat here. Just kind of make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. You're not leaning to one side or the other. And again, just relax, stay relaxed. Awesome find yourself getting nervous, just kind of take some of those deep breaths, but we're going to walk down this little hill here. And once everybody gets down to the bottom of the hill, we're going to kind of pop into the woods just for a second. Is and there anything that we, if, if I need mine to stop, mine's just following yours. So if I need mine to stop, is there anything I should do for that? Yeah, sure. And they're probably, these are all, you know, they're all very sweet, gentle, nice unicorns okay. and they're doing this. So they're probably going to be fine. But if you find yourself, okay. you get into kind of a mess, you want to stop, you can just very gently pull back on the reins and tell them, whoa, and just kind of, whoa, sit kind of deep, you know, don't lean forward, just kind of okay. sit like in your saddle and just, I like that. That's great. Cause in relationship they're you know, when you're dating and starting a new relationship, it's up to you to say, you know, this, these are where my lines are. These are where my boundaries are. So that's cool. Whoa. Cool. And some of, the, some of these may have their own boundaries. If you find you're getting a little too close to the unicorn in front of you, you may see the ears 
kind of pin or do something or the tail may swish so they have oh, their own boundaries okay. so if you see that you may want to just kind of check yours a little bit slow okay up. So i love that that is so good carol so like being aware of the the surroundings so paying attention if something's coming up like really you know you might want to take action on that or, or yeah, say whoa absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. very similar to new relationships lots in common it doesn't mean you have to be aggressive right you still can stay in the space yeah, of you, can, yeah you can still yeah and then that's the one that you don't want to be aggressive you don't want to be yanking and jerking on their mouth you want to you know just do what you have to do just just yeah. as, as gentle as you can be but if you need right. to get a little uh, you can do that right all right, right so let's just we're going to kind of walk here along the woods and just you know just kind of again be aware of your surroundings there are deer you may see some deer you may see some turkeys um oh. who knows you may see you know some groundhogs or squirrels or who knows what you might see <laughs> you owls, we've got some hawks that fly around here so oh. just kind of be aware of your surroundings unicorns should be fine i don't think anybody will spook at that but if they do they're not going to do anything bad again just Get yourself together breathe a little bit and you and you'll get through that so we're just gonna walk along here um we're coming up on a little spring which is really cool in the winter time because if you look around and all the trees are dead and gray the leaves are all on the ground and as we walk past this spring it's just bubbles up out of the ground by these rocks and you'll see it's all green there it's just really cool so just kind of take a look at that as you walk by that is awesome so do, does this on our rides, are there times when we should like give our horse our unicorns water or anything? Yeah, anytime you're crossing where, where you know, if you know it's a safe place and you know the water is clean there, and we have a couple of spots where we'll be crossing some creeks. And if your unicorn wants to take a drink, absolutely just kind of, mm -hmm. you know reach your hand forward let them have their head and let them drink they mm -hmm. love drinking out of those nice cool springs they, they like that so yeah yeah if you want to get a drink absolutely let them have a drink it's a nice way to nurture the relationship huh there you go <laughs> absolutely absolutely cool. another thing as you're walking through these woods to kind of think about that something i just learned with my equestrian tai chi practice the other day is about the wood element we're right in the middle of all the woods and the wood element kind of stands for it's all the stuff like the trees the grass the plants that are growing and it does it stands for growth it stands for moving forward um so as you're kind of walking through here you can kind of think of that and kind of soak all that in and store it in so that when you're not in the woods anymore just kind of remember what that feels like and just know that you can still call on that even though you're not riding through the woods anymore wow that feels really good i love that yeah. so when we get when we're getting home when we're home from camp we can reflect on this time being in the woods and remember the wood element you said it's a representation of growth growth moving forward oh moving forward yeah we all want to do so yeah yeah i love that because um i remember you were telling me about um that aspect and also like you said something about like those kinds of weeds that grow up through even concrete, like the power yeah. of that. Yeah, that no matter what, it's still gonna grow. Sometimes as, yeah. and as you're walking around here, you may see where like trees or shrubs have grown up and they're growing like through the fence or the fence looks like it's grown into the tree. But the yeah. tree's still fine, you know, it just yeah. it's able to do that and just it's able to keep growing and keep moving forward right i love that because you know what's so cool about that is that it's not necessary like you can't watch a tree literally grow like you just start seeing that it gets bigger and bigger and it and it grows and you know sometimes i felt that in my life where i think well maybe nothing's happening but then if you really reflect back um and are honest with yourself and do some of the things we've done that camp like the acknowledgement you can acknowledge that so that is such a powerful thing to remember thank i love that thanks 
All right, so we're gonna keep going along here and we've got, oh, kind of got a gate to come up to. So I'm just gonna, since my unicorn kind of knows how to do this, we're just gonna kind of walk up to the gate and I'll open the gate without getting off my unicorn and I'll hold it open while everybody kind of goes through. And then after okay. everybody goes through, I'll close the gate behind awesome. us. And we'll continue on a little bit. Mm -hmm. Make sure everybody's through the gate. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes, you know, you, Got to stop and <laughs> yeah, take a pause. And, yep. mm -hmm. Well, right. and I'm sure there's times when you come up against gates where it's like no trespassing, like, you know, okay, well, this isn't going to work for me. Yeah. And then you have to choose something else. But this is a good one. We can go through this one. So awesome. I love it. So I'll close the gate and then we'll go on. Keep walking through the trees. Just kind of be looking around, see if you see anything, any deer, or if you hear any. You know, we got lots of birds back here. You may hear some birds. Who knows what you might see? It really invites you to be present. The other thing that I love about this ride is that I feel so supported by my unicorn. Absolutely, yes. It's like I, you know, oftentimes I feel like I have to kind of hold myself up and I have to do it all but what i love about this with my unicorn i feel like i can relax into you know receiving that support it is it, it's a support and it's also you know i kind of like to think of it as like it's it's got my back they're going to take care of me oh. you know we, we form this little relationship and they know i'm not going to do anything to get them hurt but i know that that, that they've got my back they're not going to put me in a position to right to thing that's going to really hurt me so that's part of what we did at the beginning when we were gently introducing ourselves. Is that where that kind of is established? Because sure. yeah, it's the start of that. Yeah, building that bond, building that connection, that just knowing you're there for each other. Right. So. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I love the gentleness that this unicorn feels to me. Good, and that's what you want. Yeah. You know. And we'll, we'll do some exciting stuff here in a minute, but uh, just still kind of letting everybody get used to the ride and, you know, get feeling comfortable. So glad I have a cup holder <laughs> in my saddle. Perfect. You know, there's all kinds of cool things we can add to saddles and yeah. <laughs> so we're coming up on a, a little pond back here. Um, Ooh. I don't know. There used to be fish in the pond, I think, but I think there've been some snapping turtles around that have kind of... Oh had a fish buffet so I don't know about that but <laughs> we'll walk up here and see what the pond looks like oh no looks like where the stream runs into the pond looks like it's been raining wow. a lot. it's pretty deep I don't know with some new riders I don't know that we need to take off it looks really muddy really yeah muddy. that looks really muddy that's scary some you know some of us might be okay going through that but I think we probably need to kind of back up and take a different route, take a little detour and not, not attempt for that one. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like this too, because I'm looking at the pond and it, yeah, it's clear that that's probably got a lot of snapping turtles in it. It just kind of reminds me sometimes when in relationship, in new relationship, in life, when, you know, our head is kind of like that. It's like a pond of snapping turtles. And sometimes those you know, can really make you think that you're in danger or that there's something wrong with you or that you can't go forward. And so you're saying, like, don't go there. Like, let's turn and go a different direction. <laughs> Absolutely fine. You know, on a yeah. good day, we may feel like going through it. But today, yeah. I just think we need to just, and yeah. that's all right. We can still get there. We're still going to end up the same place. We'll yeah. just take a little detour. Well, and the other thing that you're saying is like, you, you know now that there's snapping turtles in there, you know what that is. So you don't have to fall for it. You don't have to think, oh, I have to go in there, right. you know, right. you know, just, awesome. Yep. So, we'll so ladies, think about that. Like if you have those inner critics coming up and they're snapping at you and they're being mean to you and they're thinking you can't do this, you get to choose to look away and go somewhere else. Try something else, try a different route, absolutely. Yep. So we're, we'll kind of take a little detour here. We still gotta okay. go through a little bit of the creek. Okay. But, um, and there may be a little bit of mud there, but it's yeah. okay, you can you can kind of power through. That's just not gonna be a big deal. So we'll okay. go through that. Yeah. 
I love it because I really trust my horse. Like I can see that it looks harder, but I know that we'll get through. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, if you're, if you're not feeling so sure, again, they're going to take care of you. Kind of let them pick their way through the mud. They know where, instead of you trying okay. to guide them this time, just yeah. let it go. Let it, yeah. let it happen. That's like life, surrendering to life, because life is going to continue to happen. How are we, can we just, you know, let go of this need for control? That's what feels so good. Like, it's just this, I wasn't even going to turn, and then my, my unicorn started turning. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. okay, yeah, and sometimes, yeah. Again, there may be a time where, you know, if they're going to turn, you're going to end up in another, you know, deeper creek or yeah. steeper mud or something. And you know that and you may have to turn them around, but okay. just, you know, you, you can work on, you can work on it together and you can get through. So not cool. a big deal. Awesome. All right, so we'll walk through here. And as we get through this little detour and come out of the woods, oh, look at it. We've got this huge oh. pasture, this big wow. pasture. Now this might be a place, and I don't know if anybody's feeling comfortable enough to do this, and if you trust your unicorn enough, that you just want to fly. You just want to let go and take off and gallop across the pasture and just see what happens. So if you're feeling brave, you're feeling a little daring, you want to try that? I do. Then let's mm. just take off and go and see what happens. Do I have to tell it to, how do I get it to go faster? Well, probably they're going to, usually when they see the big open spaces, they're going to want it anyway. Okay. You just kind of squeeze a little bit with your legs, give them a okay. little kick, and make sure you're not pulling back on your reins. Just oh, okay. put your hand forward and... Woo! All right! This is so yeah, cool! across the pasture. If you're oh, not I love it. That and you want to just keep walking or trot a little bit, or if you just want to stand and wait for everybody to come back, that's okay too. You know, it's nothing you have to do. But if you feel like it, go for it. Yeah, I love that because there's really, that's the thing too with life and relationships is that there are a lot of different pieces. It's kind of like the seasons. Like sometimes there's slower times where you want to kind of go inward and just, mm -hmm. you know, go slow and then, or just life is going slower. Or, or it's time to go inward. And then other times when I just want to play and this is just feels so good. Good. Yeah. It's it, yeah. Playtime. Exactly. And yeah, yeah, there certainly is a time for that. So if you're enjoying that, just go for it. And, really, and the wind. Yeah. It's a fun feeling. There's nothing like that feeling of just caution to the wind and just whoosh, take Woo. off. And go. Yeah. It's a great feeling. Great. great. Oh. All right, so if everybody's gotten their little gallop out of the way and kind of bring them back down, just kind okay. of easy, whoa, slow, walk, tell them to walk. Walk. A little more. Walk. All right, I think we got everybody. Nobody fell off. That's good. We're all good. Everybody looks good. good. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll... um walk out of this pasture we've got one more little section to walk through here and i know we i know um for free time some people have been doing some archery we actually have a little archery course set up here if you feel like and you can actually do some archery oh awesome. while you're sitting on your unicorn we've got some some targets to shoot oh at. oh my god i love that can we stop and do one really yeah. quick we can absolutely, anybody wants to give that a try, let's go for I it. Love it. So we can do it on our unicorns? While you're sitting on the unicorn, yep. Oh my it. gosh, this is That's so cool. We're doing that, so yeah. Okay, so then, so this is, I love that we can just take a moment to just focus in on something that we're wanting, because this is, you know, they're all, there's always, there's always sort of, times when we have something we want to create but it's it's this part this this trail ride this journey that is really you know life so you know we can continue to be shooting and asking for what we want like that and know that this is the part like 
it's about enjoying the journey. And I love this journey. This is so great. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thanks for bringing us over here too. I love it. Yeah, there's just no end to the, you know, what you can yeah. experience while you're trekking cool. around on a trail. Just lot, lots to be learned, lots, uh -huh. lots of joy. So awesome. I think um, that's probably all the high spots that, that I wanted to hit today. If there, unless there's someplace else anybody else wants to go, I think we're... Well, they can come in to have another ride at free time, right? Oh, so, absolutely. Yep. Or yep. whenever. Yeah. Sure. Tomorrow too, we have open time before Sunday. Be so... So anyhow, yeah. yeah okay. Gonna... So are we heading back to the barn? Mm -hmm. Yep. Just right here, right at the, um, we'll go up. There's a little hill to walk uh -huh. up here. And uh, we've got one more little gate to go through and then we'll be back up by the barn. And uh, Okay. You know, then do how do we, um, then is there any sort of closing we need to do with our unicorns? Well, I was going to say, when you get off and you take your saddle off, okay. You, know, you want to kind of, you know, I've got some brush, got an assortment of brushes here. You can get some brushes and brush them down and right. so they feel nice and comfortable. Um, it's not too hot outside, so I don't think they're, you know, we don't need to you know, give them a bath or anything, but just kind of brush them down and maybe pet them a little bit, give them a hug, tell them thank you for the great ride. Um, I yeah. love my unicorn. Spend some time just, you know, hanging out for a while if you want to. Oh, it just feels so good to just be present with them. It does. It does. Something really great about not having to um, talk. I think that's one of my favorite things about relationship and one of the things that, um, I like to, liked, well, before I met Larry, it was something that I included in my meditations is this feeling, the feeling I have just being with my unicorn right now is like the feeling I was holding in anticipation of Larry coming because it's like this feeling of just being able to be quiet and feel understood and not have to do anything or be something or perform or Absolutely. or prove anything or well and you know the the funny thing about these creatures too is that yeah you don't have to do that and if you do try to be something you're not you try to present yourself as something you're not they know they're going to pick up on it and they're wow gonna, they want you to be your authentic self yeah they're gonna know the difference so yeah you're absolutely right yeah that must be really helpful so when you notice that do you feel like um something changes in them and then it reminds you of that oh yeah uh, yeah i mean and you just yeah again it's just that feeling you know and they may start kind of acting a little standoffish even like when you've gone up to introduce like at the beginning of the ride and you've gone up to introduce yourself and you're coming in you know you're really you know, trying to be something you're not they're mm -hmm. kind of gonna go mm, no not today you know yeah nothing. yeah so, okay no wow. they absolutely know that is so beautiful oh this was so cool <laughs> Um, is there anything else that we need to know? Like any final words about um, the magic of connecting with your unicorn, whether it's a creature or a person? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Just um, final last words. I don't know. Just, just enjoy it. You know, yeah. just let it happen. Enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's fun. Yes. I love that because it's kind of the theme today anyway, which is receiving. It's like, you know, yes. how are, how can you just receive this love, mm -hmm. you know? So great. Oh my gosh. You're so awesome. Thank you so much for your <laughs> wisdom and sharing your land and your unicorns with camp. It's been so amazing. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Anytime. Well, I hope you, um, are a part of the Love Camp staff for a long time. Me too. I've been yeah. here a long time anyway. So I, I love stop. it. It's so great. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep going. Bye everyone. We'll see you Bye. later. Thanks for writing.